Hi again YouTubers, this is a review that's kind of a little bit belated um, for the MAC Luster Drops. Um, this review was requested when these first came out and it was on my list to review and that was before I also decided to start um, if it's a limited edition product doing the review as soon as possible and posting it um, on there so on to YouTube so you guys can get the most information before purchase before the product is gone um, I have two colors in them I have the color in pink rebel and then I also have the color in bronze hero now there was a color in between these two that had um, it was more along this type of color but it had a gold undertone to it so it wasn't as dark as bronze hero now these are actually in a little container like this and you squeeze it out and it actually comes out fairly thick but then it's actually a really nice thin product and it has a sheen to it so that was pink rebel and then i also have bronze hero and i'm going to tell you a little bit about what i use these for and what the uses are and you can see how much darker that is um and the sheen to it. It's very orange looking on my skin there and the pink one. Um, now, how these are made to be used is originally they were made to be used as a highlighter. So you could use it along your cheekbone and what you could do with that is just simply take it and tap it along your cheekbone. Um, I'm using the pink rebel one because obviously the other one is way too dark for my skin right now. But just along your cheekbone, you could just tap it really simply um, and that'll give you a really nice highlight. You could also use these on your brow bone, you could use them down your nose, at your cupid's bow, any of those type of things. And it's a really nice product for that. But what I purchased for, and I got backups of the Bronze Hero for, is I have a tendency to, as you guys have seen, be much lighter in the wintertime and then the more self tanners and as I'm out in the sun and things like that, your skin just naturally, um, as you go to summertime, you have a darker skin tone. So my foundations never seem to work from winter to summer. So, and I like such a wide variety of different foundations usually that I don't want to have to buy multiple colors in one type. Um, the only one I've ever done that with is the Shiseido. Um, I have it in 50, 60, and 70. 70 being the one I use in the summertime. And right now I'm on 60. Um, but as it gets through winter, the 50 will be really good too. Um, and these are aluminizers. So you can mix them in, either one of them. If you're very light skinned, the Pink Rebel is great for that. Um, if you're darker skin tone, the Bronze Hero is great for that. You can mix them in, put a couple drops in with your foundation before you put it on your face, whether that be on your fingers or on like a little palette that you're mixing your, your foundation and going to use a brush on it. Sorry, I'm gonna wipe these off before they stick to my hand too much. Uh, so what the purpose of them is, is to give you an aluminizing look to your skin. And the reason I liked Bronze Hero is because it does double duty for me. As I mentioned, I don't have most of my foundations in a large array of colors. So you can actually mix Bronze Hero, a couple drops of this in with a lighter foundation and it will darken it up so that you're able to use it through different seasons. And the reason this came to my thoughts was when I bought the Giorgio Armani foundation, the gentleman there was like, you know, here, this is the color for you, but oh, you can add a little bit of, they have... I forget what theirs is called, but it's actually, it looks exactly like this, but it's in the full-size Giorgio Armani bottle. It's actually in the full-size bottle like this. And he's like, you can buy one, you know, buy a bottle of the foundation, a bottle of this, and you can mix it. Well, the bottle of foundation was like $58, $60. And I don't remember how much these were, but it was a lot less. So I decided to try this first. And it worked exactly the same as the sample of the Giorgio Armani I had. So I was actually mixing this in with lighter foundations that I owned in the summertime in order to make them darker for my skin tone and give me a nice aluminized bronzed summer look. Now, if you are lighter skinned, the Luster Drops in Pink Rebel can do the same thing for you in any season or right now it works very well for me in the winter. You don't just have to put it on designated spots. You can mix a little bit in with your foundation and it gives you that really pretty sheen to your skin. It gives you a nice dewy glow if that's what you're looking for. And it's a great product for that. I personally right now am in a stage where I look for just the highlight on certain areas of my skin, on my cheeks and things. Did you see that light moving? 
I have curtains that have like little holes where you pull them up and down and they're closed and that's funny because I keep seeing a light come across my face. So um, that is actually what I have been using it for and as you saw I just put it on my cheekbone and things like that and I really really like this product. Um, I know that you can't find these right now guys. Um, it was from the Style Warriors collection. There might be a few counters that still haven't left but if I remember correctly when Style Warriors came out these were sold out like as quick as you could see. Like they were super fast. They went off the counters. Um, if there are any left, you could try CCOs or just call your counters and ask them if they have any left.